Seven. Solemn Adventure. A fan game with a fan character is the main character. Oh, awesome. yeah, I saw this one. You have? Well, not saw it. I mean, I saw the... Uh, uh, well, you linked the website one time, and I just looked at some of the games. Oh, I yeah, I, got, I sent you guys Of course, link. it stuck out to me because it was like this Sonic recolor who was green. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how that turns out. Hopefully it's good. Probably not, since it's a fan character game. But some would say Freedom Planet is, too, so... <laughs> Uh. Yeah, it's literally Green Sonic, the game. <laughs> Looks like it, anyway. So many icons. About green. It just doesn't really work for Sonic characters to be. Manic is green, but he also is not canon to the series. <laughs> well, that's, so. that's what I'm trying to say. It's because they didn't actually make a green character, did they? It, it that might that top. might actually be Manic, because it looks just like Manic, except he's wearing a vest. Okay. Maybe, or he is a fan character, in which case that's even sadder. <laughs> because it looks exactly like Manic, almost. Alright, press enter. Uh, I gotta change the controls to... <sighs> so... There we go. Huh. It's even got loading screens that aren't terrible. And a decent menu. I can actually play a Sonic! No, oh, he's, really? he's actually Solemn the Hedgehog, yep. There's okay. also Vermin the Hedgehog. Vermin the Hedgehog? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't tell what color he is on the title screen though, but... I'm, I think I'll play a Sonic because... Uh, that or Shadow. I don't know. Do I, I could play as the fan characters out of interest, but... Maybe you should stick with the fan character. Just because so this then, is a... Solemn or Vermin? Wh whatever vermin. whatever I play, see in the chat first. Vermin. Like, let's, let's see. What color do you think he'll be? Red. Yeah, red, probably. <laughs> Whichever one I see in the red. chat first is the one I do. And it, it can't be from you. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna type anything. <laughs> If we don't get anything within a minute, though, then I'll just choose one. Choose, choose between the two, uh... Why is everybody so quiet right now? Because, well, at least Elliot is really tired. Oh. I guess, I guess he was up really late last night. Vermin! It's the first one I saw. Okay, I said Vermin. Alright, I hit back on accident. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna play his back. Actually, he looks like he's a lime green, like, um, which I don't mind, actually. Good thing it's not a just generic green color. Hmm. There's stuff down here. The water is not tiled correctly. That's one thing to notice. Huh. What the heck? He's not green. I mean, no, I mean, he's green, but he's not red. It's weird. Why do both of them have red vests? I don't know. Maybe they're brothers or something. Klonoa <laughs> Island? Are you serious? What? They're what not. They're not even being vague in their reference. This is called Klonoa Island. Wow. Really? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, it actually kind of controls decent. I mean, he's a little floaty, but way better than being a rock, like the other games have been. The presentation. I've never heard of that before. Being controlled like a rock. Uh, you'll hear it from me a lot when I talk about Sonic fan games, because tons oh. of them, unfortunately, make Sonic feel too heavy. There's a lot better control in this game. Like, he turns really nicely. Way better than the other games. <laughs> um, this is actually not bad so far. The, uh, atmospheres... Oh, wow. That's not supposed to happen. Oops. <laughs> well, the, uh, atmosphere's decent. They are... the presentation's not bad either. Those banners look really weird to me. What the heck? That was a little weird. We yeah. just went to that wall. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm trying to get that token up there. I guess I already have one, but give me another. 
What's over here? Hmm, nothing. I think my... I think I do have... Oh, it happened again. What the heck? I think I do have a complaint that they run a little too fast. Like... <laughs> a Sonic game where you're going too fast? <laughs> well, you wouldn't, like... You wouldn't think about it, but it's actually a common problem where the fan games make the characters move too fast and you can't react to what's coming up because they're going too fast. Yeah, I got that. If you play Sonic Unleashed, the daytime stages, I mean, some people really love those things, but I find them to be just kind of okay, mostly because Sonic just runs too fast. I can't see what's happening until it's right there in my face. Actually, there's a Sonic Unleashed mod for Generations. It's pretty cool. Mm. They, they made him actually manageable speed. Uh... When I had you buy Generations, I did not think people were going to hack Generations for PC. But now I kind of wish I had told you to wait for the PC version to go on sale. <laughs> well, that's right. I kind of like the, the console, console version. Yeah. I mean, yeah, whatever. Well, what exactly would have been a good change for me? What do you mean? Like the mods? Like what? Yeah, mod. Well, you could play the good half of Sonic Unleashed for free. Oh, really? Huh. Uh, because it's a mod, and they modded the entire good, all the good stages oh, into the generations. That would have been something. Because yeah. I don't think I want to play Unleashed. Like, Unleashed... Uh, the Unleashed mod is basically Sonic Generations, more or less. Or Sonic Colors, like a mix of the two. Mm. There's tons of locked stuff in here. Uh... Well, the, the day stages are. I wouldn't recommend playing Sonic Unleashed, the actual game, unless you're willing to deal with a lot of crap, because, man, you gotta play through those nighttime stages, and those can be really frustrating because of how freakishly long they are and boring they are. There's an arcade. I want in it. So, I mean, what do they have in mind when they made Unleashed? Uh... That was during that time I just kind of lost faith, faith in Sega altogether. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was around the same time that they released Sonic 06 and tons yeah. of other not really good games. Uh, Sonic, uh, let's see, Sonic Unleashed was originally going to be a Sonic Adventure game. Oh. Early development. And then uh, they changed it because they were like, well, we just tried the Adventure series for a while. We should change it up. So mid-development, they kind of changed what they were doing. And made it more of a fast-paced action platformer that's kind of like uh, a racing game, but you have a jump a jump button. Okay. Well, but, I mean, do you think another uh, Sonic Adventure game would be feasible? I have heard a lot of people say they want another one. I personally don't believe there's any reason why there should be another one. Uh, I, I mean, think... I don't really have a desire to play another Sonic Adventure game. I feel like the first one and the second one were good enough for me. I think they... I think Sonic, those Sonic Adventure games, there's a certain aura about them that just screams the time period that they came out in. And oh. there's no way that you're going... If you want a new Sonic Adventure game, it's not going to be like those Sonic Adventure games. Because they naturally were born in a different era. And... Because of that, they play differently, and the story is different than what you might expect these days, etc., etc. I mean, that's not to say that we won't get another Sonic Adventure per se, because I think Sonic Boom might have elements of Sonic uh. Adventure in it. But there's nothing that's going to be quite like Sonic Adventure again. And anybody who wants another Sonic Adventure, I'm sorry, you're going to be very disappointed in knowing that there won't be one that's quite like Sonic Adventure 1 or 2 again. It just won't happen. Things have changed. I'm still trying to figure out how to play this game. I just see you, like, going around a city. <laughs> or town. Oh, or there, I found the stage. I found the stage select, I think. Um, what, do you use rings as currency? Oh, man, okay, I'm in a level now. There's no music in this game, it's just, uh, ambient sounds, which is, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mind it, because it's not ambient music, it's ambient sound, so it's okay. like birds chirping and, oh. uh, 
stuff like that. Um. Man. So what can you even do in the town anyway? I saw you going to a bunch of shops and stuff. It looks like you get money and then you spend it in the shop. Is it? Probably. It is. Okay. Uh, Sonic fans have tried many ways to make the rings more useful than just being a collectible that protects you. Which is understandable because there's kind of a flaw in the design of the rings in that sense. Yeah. So they're trying to solve that problem, but I don't think I I've remember, seen... Were they used a little bit more extensively in uh, Sonic Adventure? Uh, not really. In Sonic Adventure, they don't use the rings for much anything except oh. for... Uh, I think there's a black market. Yeah, there's a black market that you can use to buy Chow stuff. But yep. I mean, that requires it's you to actually... Online. That yeah, requires you to actually care about the Chow section, so... Well, I just played it for fun, and usually I just abuse them. <laughs> well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I, I played with the Chow section. It's just, uh... Well, not everybody does care for the Chow section, and it... And honestly, I mean, if you think about it design-wise, the Chow section's only purpose is to give purpose to the rings that you collect and the other stuff uh. that you collect in the game. And there's no real other purpose that might further your gameplay. Like, it's just a expendable thing. So, I don't know. They did try making rings an item, a thing you can use to buy items in uh, Sonic 06, but... Yeah. The problem with that is, is uh, because the game sucked, nobody wanted to go back and get more rings. <laughs> Like, if the levels were good, then maybe people would be okay with going back and getting rings. Or if the items that you buy are only bu uh, bonuses and not, uh, and not yeah. things you have to get as progress. And that reminds me when I was, like, playing uh, Generations, like, you get these points at the end of stage or whatever it is you do, that you could go to the upgrade shop. I never purchased a thing from that. Yeah, those are for people who mostly suck at the game and they want to have boosts. Well, I didn't really suck enough at the game that I wanted them. I mean, some of them are fun, I guess, at least, but Like, they're... what? Because I didn't really want to try any. Just wanted to play the game. Well, they're mostly for, like, after you beat the game, sort of stuff. Oh, I see. Stuff. How, where am I supposed to go? Well, what was the most interesting to you of those upgrades? Um... That's a good question. You can go supersonic in the game. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm about to die. I need air. There we go. I'm trying to think. Like, uh... There's one that gives you shields. You can get oh. certain shields that are actually nif nifty. Nifty. Needy. Well, yeah, I guess a shield would be helpful to me, because I always take a lot of damage. Well, like, if you're a speedrunner or something, get the fire shield. Makes you way faster. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? How am I supposed to get over that? I have to wait for him, of course. What? What? Okay, game. You've lost me. Oh my gosh! I got an extra life. Well, this seems well made enough. For, especially for like a fan character fan game. No! What? Oh, you can skydive in this game? Yep. Ski dive. Ski dive. I can only move forward for some reason. I don't know why that is. I need air. When's the first time they use that skydive um, gameplay? Un unleashed. Unleashed. A lot of stuff started with Unleashed, actually. Well, I mean, was it just as slow as it was in Colors? Because I was curious. No, it was I... faster than Unleashed. Everything so... was faster than Unleashed. Really? So it was slower than Unleashed? No, like, it's faster than Unleashed. It's slower in Colors. Everything. I don't understand why it was slower in Colors. It was. A weird. Unleashed was. When I talk about Unleashed, I always talk about the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 version. Yeah. The Wii and PS2 versions were made by Dimps, and 
they're kind of a mess. <laughs> but some people really like them, so that's okay, but... Um, I've only played a little bit of the Wii PS2 version, so... Which is ironic, since I own those consoles. <laughs> but I haven't played those games. Um, that much. I rented it, and I played through, through the first three worlds. And I got really frustrated with it, and gave up. Um... No, but in the con those console versions, he does everything really, really fast. Part of the reason I like colors is because they designed the game so that you could move slower if you wanted. Now, I don't necessarily like the fact that you the fastest speed you can dive is still pretty slow. But, I mean, the game is designed so that a novice could play it and they can at least beat it. But an experienced player could also run through it really fast. Yeah. So... I need to get air. Air Jordans. <laughs> Come on, air bubble. Thank you. I don't understand the controls in this game. Dag gum. Freaking controls. Why does it ground stomp? I'm n I'm on the ground. What? Oh my god. I just want to jump! I just want to get up! Oh, my air is getting low. It's just so weird, there's no music. Hmm. Like, is there any ambient sound for, like, being underwater? No. Nothing? Nothing. Uh. Oh my gosh, Even bubbles? Ones. No, nothing. No bubbles. Sound effects, okay. This is one of the better fan games I've played tonight. It's still not great, but it's good. I think just part of the problem is I just don't understand the controls. So when was the first time Sonic could run on water? Sonic 3, I believe. Yeah, oh. Sonic 3. Wow. I mean, I played Sonic 3. I don't know, it's been a long time. Got a lot of the stuff. Its 20th anniversary was fe uh, early February. So. That's I mean, it. I probably played Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 in full, but everything else. Uh, did you um, have Did you have the uh, Sonic and Knuckles of course collection I for PC? Oh yeah, I Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, because I yeah that I, I never played. I figured you probably the Sonic games you played were on PC. PC. Yeah, because you said no. you said you had 3D Blast on PC. And oh yeah, I have a lot, on PC. You had yes. a lot of you had a lot of PC Sega games, and I just figured yeah. a lot of people who had Sonic games on PC had all the Sonic games on PC. Basically, I had Sonic CD, Sonic uh, R, Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah. Is there anything else I'm missing? Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles collection. Uh, Sonic yeah, R, I don't know. Sonic I just... 3D Blast. Yeah. Uh, they did release tons more Sonic games on PC, but during that era, that was pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's, that's like the only thing I didn't get, Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles. The Sonic th Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles like, collection, yeah. Yeah, Sonic and Knuckles collection, that makes more sense. It has Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, together as one. Man, yeah, I can't the, get past this Most part. of the Sonic games I played were on the Sonic Mega Collection. Ah, uh, yeah. I had and that. And I had that for GameCube. Yep. They also had a PS2 version, and it, there was a PC version of that, actually, but it's pretty really? rare. I don't see it very often. And this section looks a little ridiculous. Ready? Oh, I did it, whatever it was I was supposed to do. Did the screen just tell you to sit to ready or something? Yeah, and then it didn't tell me what I was supposed to do. There was no prompt, so I guess I just did it right. Hey Sam, you know a lot about Sonic. Wow. Yes, I do. I know <laughs> tons about Sonic. I know too much about video games in general. Yeah, that's why you're no that's why you're my news man. <laughs> I don't even follow the modern stuff that much, but... Well, I mean, you don't really need to. I don't even follow it anymore. I don't care. I just don't give a crap about it. 
anymore. I mean, I would, we had this conversation too many times already. Let's just drop yep. it. I don't give a carp anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I am a carp. Okay, well, I don't know if there's more levels, but I'm kind of done with this anyway, so... Sonic 3D was fun enough that I went through the entire game, and that was an hour and a half long, but this I'm kind of done with. I only have 18 rings, for crying out loud. Man, ugh. I think part of it is there's no music, so I'm kind of bored. 